Hey Fleet Ready fam, welcome to Fleet Ready Gaming. My name is Savad, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a little bit different of type of a video tonight. Uh, we're going to be covering a interesting area of the roadmap that I'd like to discuss and get some feedback from you guys. Today we're going to be talking about the four new types of weapon ammunitions that will be coming shortly in the next couple months. So without further more to do, let's go ahead and get into it. Alrighty, so we got the uh, roadmap pulled up here on the deliverable tab with the filter to ammunition and we have four different ammunition types that are currently being worked on. And we'll just go ahead and start from the top and work our way down. So the first new ammunition type, and this is more kind of a, of a rework than it is something new, but it's got a new name. It's the disarray ammunition. This is going to be what's going to be taking over for dis, uh, for um, oh gosh, what's it called? Don't you hate it when you have a mind mind fog there for a second? Essentially, it's uh, what's going to be taking over the um, disruption, for lack of a better word. You know, uh, the type of ammunition that will be used to take out enemy ships uh, systems without actually harming the ship itself overall. So it is called disarray ammunition, has five works a week of work and will be finished at the end of June. It says this new charged ballistic projectile that emits electromagnetic pulses helping to not only damage the target, but also disrupt the power system. So I stand corrected. This one also damages targeted ships, but can also help hinder and overall disable them as well. I'm very interested to see how this will work in tandem with uh, other disruptive uh, weapons we have in the game right now. Uh, very excited to see that, you know, with soft death finally being a thing, um, it will be interesting to see this balance between soft death as well as just disabling and crippling a ship, you know, having it still technically be intact, not in that, in an actual soft death state, but, um, having its systems be crippled and destroyed or damaged in such a manner that it takes the engineering team to get them back online and allowing the attacker the opportunity to either destroy or board uh, their said target. Let me know what you guys think about that one. The next one is a very interesting one. We've had a little bit of talk about it in ISC. It's been quite some time though. I mean, gosh, it's probably been at least six months since any talk about it, and it was very brief when it was. This flak ammunition. This new type, uh, this new damage type uh, triggers on proximity or expiration, causing the concentrated burst of shrapnel to damage targets in an area. Now, this is going to be very interesting, especially, you know, when considering for like the light fighter meta. Um, it will be interesting to see how this overall affects ships with lighter armor. You know, those that are, are definitely, you know, strong enough to do one on one and or, or glass cannons that are purely to take out one. And, and you know, if you're hit, you're screwed. But um you know, flak ammunition is definitely going to bring a whole nother element of combat, both in space and in Atmos. Um, and the fact that it does a, you know, an area of effect damage will be interesting to see how far that spread is. If, you know, if you're flying in a group with some friends and you're flying too close, you know, what sort of damage can that uh, deal? I'm, I'm excited to see that. Um, 
yeah, let me know what you guys think about that one. Moving on to the third one, we have incendiary ammunition. This new ballistic projectile that burns on impact causes the target to take damage over time and potentially cause causing items in the environment to catch fire. I can't say how excited I am to see that this one will be done. Uh, I mean, this one will be done in June. Didn't mention the previous one with Flak. We'll scroll up again for a second. It's going to be done in May. So flak, and, uh, flak ammunition we may see with Invictus, uh, which would be cool, while the rest are all finished in June. But back to incendiary. Fire damage. That is some exciting stuff. CIG has been teasing fires in ships for well over a year now, maybe almost two years now. When I saw that 600i demo test that they showed with it being on fire and the fire spreading throughout the corridor that they showed for the test demo, it it, it lit my soul on fire with how excited I am to have the next stage of internal ship gameplay happen while within a combat scenario. You know, it brings you to, you know, the Star Trek vibes of, you know, when stuff was going down and the crew had to go and deal with it in the ship while things were still going on outside. And the more gameplay we have that involves allowing our crew to do things, whether in combat or not. You know, whether if it's simply an, uh, you know, a damaged component overheating and setting on fire or this new incendiary, incendiary ammunition lighting things up, um, it's exciting to see what the opportunity is. And, you know, getting our hands on fire extinguishers and just going and uh, setting, you know, getting fires put out. Or, you know, if the flamethrower that we saw in that ISC a couple of weeks ago is real. I mean, I know they used a shotgun to um, let us imagine, let's say, what the future of that could be. You know, if, if we ever got actual flamethrowers in the game, you know, that would be insane. Um, but the idea of, uh, you know, fire control, it's, it's exciting stuff. Very excited to see that coming. And it's looking like, you know, if that's to be fully implemented, you know, as with the and, and caveat, you know, we'll say the caveat with the roadmap. We know that just because something completes on here does not mean it is being introduced in game or that the work is actually done on it. You know, as with all of these, there could be a lot more that needs to be done. And this is only the work that's being done in the meantime. But it's it's fun to theory craft. It's fun to to speculate on what could be and and what the future holds. Um, but yeah, let me know. Are you excited for uh, incendiary ammunition? You know, uh, are you excited for the potential of your ship or your enemy's ship catching a flame inside and them having to scramble to deal with it or just letting it go in the meantime until it, you know until you can get to it after your your fight uh would love to hear that from you finally we have our final ammunition type which is plasma am, uh, ammunition also coming out at the end of june further work on this damage type will cause damage over time to actors vehicles and ships Larger weapons of this type will also leave behind a hazard, causing further damage to any in close proximity to it. This will fulfill the original vision we had for the plasma weapons we already have in game, and those we have planned for the future. Now, you know, it's, it's, it's interesting. Plasma in science fiction is such a unique type of matter, you know. We have plasma guns, plasma grenades, plasma launchers, you know, look at Halo. Halo had all of those things combined, um, you know, let alone from many other science fiction novels and games and uh, films that we've, we've had over the many, many decades. Um, I'm curious to see how that will 
play out for Star Citizen with these additional types of ammunitions that we'll be getting, you know, we're really going to have this mix and match that will bring a fresh breath into not only loadout options, but we as defenders of attacks have to take into accountability now. You know, will I need to have a fire extinguisher on my ship or on my person? Will I need to worry about plasma burning through my hull and or, you know, my armor? Will armor degrade? You know, we're supposed to be getting weapon uh, wear and tear here soon. I'm sure we'll be getting the same for armor, um, for player armor. It'll be very interesting to see how these different ammunition types will affect our characters and our ships. Anyways, that wraps up the four different types. I'm super excited to see them. You know, they're only, what, it's June for them. We're in, about to enter April, so they're, they're about three months away for most of them. Uh, two months away for for incendiary or for uh, flak, you know, if they actually are done, um, which would be amazing if they are. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'd love to have that talk about you. Which one out of these four are you most excited for? Um, you know, maybe we'll have a poll to see uh, what you guys think. Um, but in the meantime, I'd love to to hear your comments below. But with that being said, we're going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to try to do more videos like this in the future that are a little bit off just the news path, but more of the speculation and theory crafting. I love talking about this type of stuff with my org members in Discord, so might as well bring it here to YouTube and see what you guys think as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please leave a like. It really helps us out. And if you're not so subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You know, we're looking to grow. We'd love to have you in the uh, community. And um, we're also doing a giveaway at 100 subscribers. So if you want to be a part of that and be able to enter that, hit that subscribe button. More info will come here soon once we get closer to our goal of 100 subscribers. And uh, yeah. Thank you again so much. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.